Namaste. Morning. Our primal energy, our inner potential, at first, it's dormant, it's stuck, it's heavy, and it's in the hips. And when we're able to free the blockages clogging the way of this energy to flow out, then we can experience its rising nature. Yes, our energy is rising. Right. And then together, of course, with the preparatory components of internal cleansing, foundational uh, practices of developing physical strength and flexibility, and inner core awareness, this will all lead to a new skill of brewing our breath, of channeling our breath. So we can draw the breath, we can draw the energy from the hips, so we can allow it to rise. And this will make our practice lighter, not just asana, pranayama, or even meditation. And it will serve us in many ways and levels for our health and our wellness and our well-being because this is a healing force. So even if we're not practicing the observances or the techniques, yeah, this energy keeps nourishing our body. So for the day, yeah, let me teach you yeah, or share with you some insights on how we can apply yeah, the lifting breath, the lifting energy in the practice of yeah, asana, especially those which are weight-bearing. So this is the essence of the bandhas, yeah, particularly the Uddiyana Bandha. So the Uddiyana Bandha is the core. Yeah, around the navel region. And it's also called as the flying up lock because when we access the Uddiyana Bandha, it makes the body light. All right. But of course, the other Bandhas would play a vital role too in assisting that Uddiyana or the Ko Bandha. The Ko Bandha is actually the most active of all. all right. Now, yeah. in, for example, in a technique, um, called the uh, jumping. Yeah, so, for example, you are a flowing and active uh, type of vinyasa. So, we jump forward, or you jump back, or you jump through, or arm balances, for that matter. You can use this technique. All right. Now, with your legs crossed like this, yeah, placing your fist, yeah, either fist, yeah, and then cupping the other hand. Yeah, below the navel. Yeah, so maybe around the navel and then just go a little bit under. All right, now, breathing in and then use the fist to lightly press down there and then lift the sensation up. Yeah, so as your muscles pull back, yeah, and with the assistance of your fist and the breath rising up. Can you feel uh, yeah, that space go really flat, yeah? And like the tailbone slightly move towards yeah, the front. It scoops, yeah? It goes like that as you move the inner core up. All right, so that's the combination of your mula bandha, yeah, the root bandha, yeah, around the pelvic uh, floor, the, uh, lifting up, yeah, ascending. And this minor adjustment, and the breath lifting up makes way for the Uddiyana Bandha to open, yes, yeah, so you can channelize the breath or the energy to pierce that area. And at the top of the breath, can you notice this involuntary stoppage, like a suction? And then right away, you will feel the hollow of the throat gets even deeper, and the Jalandhara Bandha assists yeah, the Uddiyana Bandha in collecting the energy and then just light suspension at the top is where you are the lightest. That's where the energy is at its most, I'd say, potent. Yeah. We call that the purakumbaka, yeah, so the suspension of the inhalation. All right. If you're practicing pranayama, you're holding the suspension longer. Yeah. But in the practice of weight-bearing asana, especially as you flow through, we don't hold that suspension too long. Yeah. So we just wait until that clip happens and we do our action. All right. So let's apply that yeah, in the jump back. Yeah. 
the chung forward, and the chung ping fruit. All right, so if you're not yeah, yet efficient, you're working them flat on the ground, so you may use your prop. Yeah, all right, so first, yeah, jumping back, right, crossing our legs. All right, yeah. inhale, yeah, inhale. Make your inhalation lightly drawing up and alert. Yeah, and then you're gonna clip, yeah, and then press, yeah. So in application, yeah, hands a little bit in front of the hips, closing the hips by tipping forward, opening the knees lightly apart. Inhale, lift, and to the back, yes. So the whole, um, I say, process of lifting, yeah, and transitioning to the back is done on that very short pause at the top of the breath. So it's actually active. <gasps> and then maneuver your way to the back of your practice spaces, so such as, yeah, exhale, and then apply as well the principle I shared with you a while back when you wanna bring the breath to the back of your body. <gasps> yeah, inhale, <gasps> collect up, and then move back, yeah? Exhale first. Relax, you are breathing in, and then backwards, and then you just flow your vinyasa. All right, so in application, in the jump forward to stand, yeah, for example, yeah, in here. Yeah. Good. Exhale, now breathing in, you may use the fist there, just to feel that space, and then to adjust the muscles there, yeah, the tailbone scoops, but the belly muscles press back and it moves forward towards the chest cavity. Yeah, breathing in. Mm. See, and the armpits slightly wrapped yeah, towards the chest as you push away. Yeah, that's your Jalandarabandha. Yeah. So in application, the bending of the knees and the crouching is done on the inhalation. And at the top of the breath, you're going to clip yeah, for a mild suspension and jump up to float, yeah? Such as breathing in, up, and that. So while you're suspended up in the air, you're actually not technically breathing. See, so you are energetically breathing. It means, yeah, so the breath that you take yeah, before the jump up or the action itself, would be enough to sustain your inner organs uh, for the energy you need. Yeah, so you can hold it longer, why not? You can float up there and then do some other things. For example, you're jumping up to handstand. That's yes, all right, you can, you can apply that too. Or you can lightly suspend up in midair. And then when the body becomes heavy, it means yeah, the breath yeah, is already stale. Therefore, you need to release and exhale the breath out. Yeah, so, yeah. Breathing in first, you may lightly hang forward and back, and here, loosen. Now, inhalation, crouch, yeah, and push, and you may lightly look forward so you can see. Yeah, but don't tilt the head too high. Inhale, yeah, inhale, like that. Yeah, inhaling, push, yeah. Inhaling, at the top, and then here you may hang, and, land easy down all right so yeah inside the body you will feel actually like your spine <laughs> which is find distinct position inside like your tail yeah all the way scooping yeah it's not too tight and then here yeah really it's inside the abdomen cavity like this a brace there yeah like it grips, not really grips, but it locks yeah, the lower structure yeah, as you allow your body to suspend up. And of course, this will require strength yeah, and mobility and flexibility. But at the top of it, yeah, the upper back remains stable with the engagement of your Jalandarabandha. All right, now as you jump through, for example, yeah, using the block is the same. Yeah, yeah. Inhale, crouch and set and push. And then through to your <laughs> jump through. Yeah. Um, flat, yeah, same. Yeah. 
For example, you wouldn't do it cross leg, but in cross leg, uh, it will feel heavy because you need to suspend in the middle. Yeah. Exhale first, inhaling, sit, catch, and the thing, your legs through. If you want to do it fast, it's lighter, but be very careful when you do it fast. Exhale first, your side body long, yeah, inhale, bend, crouch, and scoop, yeah. like that. Inhaling, and you sit through the front. Beautiful. Yes, so remember, the breath is rising. It's thinning to the midline. It's not bulging. It's not tightening. It's not clenching. Good. To the midline, and it descends to the vertical. Yeah, thank you for listening. Hope you learned from this lesson, and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.